Good afternoon, everybody. It's another episode of Intellectually Honest, unedited, uncut, and we're going to get right into it. We're going to open up. We're going to get right into it. We got Jello Shots in Vegas. Yo, bruh, what did I tell you? What did I say? Research the logs, bro. Research the logs. I said the Ball Brothers are going to give the world a reality check. The reality check is Jello is the best player on that summer league roster. I don't care. Book Knight, he had more points, but he played like almost 10, 12 more minutes. Jello is the best player on that summer league roster. And he is NBA ready. I don't I don't want to hear nothing about his conditioning. I don't want to hear about his his height. Is he long enough? Is he whatever? He is ready. That Yo, Jello shots in Vegas is where we at right now, dog. Okay, let me let me let me calm down, bro. What, what? You know I saw the game, obviously, and you know I got some takeaways. <clears throat> First takeaway is LeAngelo Ball. Lavar was right. Lavar was right. Lamelo was right. I don't know if Lonzo ever said it, but Lavar was right for sure. Leangelo Ball is the best shooter of the Ball Brothers. I, that shot is, oh, God. And I don't know if y'all um, watched my last video, but I said Leangelo Ball, um, Leangelo Ball is like a, it could be like a bigger, stronger J.J. Reddick. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what he looked like today. Oh, my goodness. If they would have played this dude, can you imagine... If Leangelo Ball got the same amount of minutes that who's that dude number seven, <clears throat> K. Lewis. I, I don't know his name. I know it's, it's K. Lewis's initials. Imagine if Leangelo Ball got his minutes. They would have won that game. I don't know what K. Lewis accomplished out there in, in the twenty minutes of playing time they gave him that they clearly should have gave Leangelo Ball, but they was trying to prove a point. That crowd, that that, that crowd knew was up. That crowd knew what was up. Lavar was sideline. He knew what was up. Leangelo Ball needs to start next game. So that's my first takeaway. First takeaway is uh, Leangelo Ball is the best shooter of the Ball Brothers. This guy, that last three was the, probably the most impressive. There's two threes that impressed me from uh, Jello. <clears throat> and the, 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 the first one was when he caught the ball and balanced up. He was wide open, but he caught the ball, balanced up. It was, he was on like the left shoulder, the left wing. And he caught the ball, he got on balance. And if you a shooter, if you hoop before in your life, you know sometimes it's hard to catch the ball like that, like on a dime, like and not move. Like he was off balance when he caught it, got squared up, and where it's like it's like you, like, you know, like he he's like, he's a pro at that crap, man. Like he's a shooter, dog. And and the the most impressive three, which I think just sealed the deal for him as far as like having the best performance on the on the team tonight. Uh, that last three, when uh, when he shot it, just right, right in Buddy's face. <sighs> Bruh. Like, this dude, like, <laughs> jello shots in Vegas, man. That's what we got right here. Uh, so that's my first one. He's the best He's the best shooter of the Ball Brothers. Um, second takeaway, Jello needs to start in uh, the next game. He needs to start. The, uh, they need to, the Hornets need to get out of his way. K. Lewis need to get out of his way. Uh, it's about Book Night and it's about G3 or G8. We need a new name for Jello. Because if he's going to be rocking number eight, eight ball. We need, we need, they need to get out of eight ball way and let this dude who, G, you know, we got Jello shots in Vegas, man. Let's, uh, so yeah, that's my number two uh, takeaway. He needs to start. I mean, like, what do you what is K Lewis that prominent? Is he is K Lewis the future? Is K Lewis the guy? I say K Lewis because he was the one that was that I would start Jello over. He didn't do nothing. Is K? You know what I'm saying? Like nah, bro. Nah, that's I I, I you I don't know if y'all can hear the excitement in my voice, but like <laughs> it's like come on, dog. Eight ball corner pocket, yo. Like uh, you know. Uh, let's keep going. So my next takeaway, uh, he's bigger than I thought, like height wise. I know I said bigger, he's big and strong. He's a, you know, he, he has that LeVar ball type body. 
uh, which I think is going to help him out a lot in the league as, as far as like rebounding and stuff. He showed that he could rebound. And he showed he's not just a shooter. Believe it or not, if y'all was tapped in, I know I know we want to talk about the five threes he hit and all that stuff. But if you was tapped in, he had like a really nice heads up tip pass to a guy for an easy layup. That's the kind of basketball mind that LeVar has like conditioned his boys to have. He may not have the gift of passing like Lonzo or LaMelo, but as far as IQ, he's right there with it. Uh, you know, more than just the passer. That's my third takeaway. Um I think I think and I think that the more he gets readjusted to professional basketball and professional um you know uh organized basketball with real with pros and stuff like you're going to start to see the other parts of his game kind of like flourish and, and and come to the forefront um jeez dog <laughs> goddamn jello shots in Vegas um so that that's that uh First takeaway, G3 is the best shooter of, of, of the Ball Brothers. Uh, well, I can't, well, not G3. Uh, Jello Shots, 8-Ball, is uh, is the uh, is the best shooter of his brothers. Um, takeaway 2, what was takeaway 2? Takeaway 2, he needs uh, to take K. Lewis' spot in that starting lineup. I, um, he had the best game of anybody on the roster. Um, take 3, he's more than just a shooter. And now for my fourth take, and I guess my final take. Um, like, we're here, man. The ball era is, is, is officially starting. I mean, I said it in my last video. The ball, it starts with, it, like, the last piece to fall is Jello. Um, It started. It's here. Um, and you just gotta, you gotta appreciate it. You gotta love it. And uh, just don't be a hater, man. Don't be a hater. Uh, just like, like I tell, I tell people all the time, sometimes in life, you just gotta sit back and, 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 and realize, recognize when you're witnessing something that's never been done before, you know, LeVar Ball is blazing a trail. Uh, his sons are blazing a trail. This is just the beginning. These guys are very young in their careers. This is just the start. You know what I mean? Uh, Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn jello shots in Vegas. <laughs> oh boy, let's go. We with it. We in here. Um, this is Intellectually Honest. I appreciate everybody who tunes into my videos every time I post, every time I drop. Um I like I said, I, this is a this is a great time to be me. Uh the ball brothers are popping. Uh, all of my favorite things are, are just in right here, are prominent in, in the forefront in 2021. Uh, Nas just dropped another classic album. It's like everything. It's a great time to be me. Uh, oh man. Anywho, intellectually honest. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the algorithm. We are signing out.